Hello. Today um, we're working on doing um, kind of a broody sky, part of it, um, without using masking fluid, which I really don't like to use, and without doing um, a smooth wash. I'm just dropping color into a wet wash. I did mostly the blue, and then I came back and I put in some pink, and then I came back and put in a little yellow, and um, that has dried. And one of the things you'll notice is that yellow, of all the three colors, yellow will dry the lightest. And so it looks like I've lost some of my yellow. The yellow is basically to keep um, the lavender made by the yellow and, and uh, the blue and the pink from being lavender and showing up more as a gray. So um, it's time consuming. It takes a little longer, but I like the effects better and I enjoy the process. So that's the whole point. And so that's why we're doing it this way. So I'm going to um, continue with this in this in this vein. I got started here and I'm going to go in this direction now and then I will come back um, and we'll stop the video and we'll go over here. All right, here we go. Just basically wetting my paper being careful to go around everything I don't want color on. Um, this medallion and this border is going to be, um, I'm going to paint it as if it was stone. So I'm not terribly worried about color getting into it, but it doesn't hurt to be careful anyway. And like I said, I enjoy the process. It's kind of a little contest with me to see how close I can get to that line w without going, o going over, which I just did. <laughs> so much for that contest. You lost. Anyway. I should have some music in the background. But I don't have my my tablet with my music on it right now. So you'll just have to either listen to me breathe or enjoy the silence. Some of these birds are just little marks and I don't have to worry about going around them, but some of them actually have some white in them, so I need to what I like about this whole um, process um, rather than doing a whole wash is I'm not in a panic to make sure that the wash stays wet that it all gets done in, in, you know, one fell swoop, a la prima or something like that. I don't like that kind of pressure. I don't, I don't deal well with it. It usually makes a mess that I end up having to clean up. So why not just to avoid it in the first place? I'm kind of going over a couple of times. You'll notice that once you put paint on the paper, it's hard to get it to stay wet again. So I'm just kind of redoing this. Some of these places, I want the color to stay, um, I want the blue to stay in the sky. It'll be little bits of blue sky shining through. That I already did for right now. So I'm going to take some of my pink and I'm going to drop it in a couple places and let the water carry it. I might have to add more water. Okay. 
got to be careful with that pink. It's pretty strong stuff. That's quinacridone rose. The blue is cobalt blue. Um, and the yellow is Sennelier Yellow Deep. Um, it's an it's like a gamboge. It's a warm a warm transparent color uh, yellow. As transparent as yellow gets. I have found that it's sometimes hard <laughs> to get yellow to stay transparent. Sennelier's is the best that I have found. And for a light yellow, um, I like their lemon yellow. It's, it's about as transparent a color yellow as you're going to get. Aureolin is nice, but it's a little bit more opaque, semi-opaque. A little bit more water in there. I'm going to put a little bit more pink in this area. All right. That's the only part I'm going to do for that right now. And then I'm going to use some yellow and drop that yellow in. Water. I also like this because what you can do is you can get a gray and moody sky as you build these colors up. At the same time, you can continue to see these colors. You're not obliterating the color to make gray. You're just building it up to a gray and retaining all those three colors. I kind of really like that. I didn't wet around here, so I'm just going to blend that in. I want to keep that one blue spot blue as some blue sky showing through. Right here. And some up here. On top of that, I'm going to then add the blue again on the places where I would like it to be darker. So you can see in places, now here I want it to be blue, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more blue in that space, and on this side of the tower, this is dry, but that's alright, soften those around that, okay. All right, now that's how I'm making 
somewhat, building up the color. I forgot this one little spot. Building up our color in the sky, and I'll continue to build it that way all the way across. The next band will be a different color sky. And um, like so many ways of doing things, this may end up a lot of painting itself. <laughs> you never know how it's exactly going to come out. That's the way I like to do it, and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.